Bismillah. In this video, I'm going to solve Cambridge IGCSE Mathematics Paper 2, May June 21, Variant 1. Number 1. Write down the order of rotational symmetry of this diagram. To find the order of rotational symmetry, we need to find how many times this shape we get the same shape if it's rotate about its center. So for this square, this is the center. If we rotate this square 90 degrees, we get the same shape. This is the first position. And if we rotate 180, we get the same shape. 270, we get the same shape. 360, we get the same shape. So we will get the same shape four times in full term. So the order of rotational symmetry for this square, four. For B, on the diagram, draw all line of symmetry. Line of symmetry, line, divide the shape into two halves, that, such that you can fold them and coincide each other. So for the square also, we have four line of symmetry. We can draw them. This is the first line. And the second line, the vertical one. And the two diagonals. The two diagonals. This is the first diagonal. And this is the last one. Last line of symmetry. So we have four line of symmetry. Each one of them divides the shape into two halves. You can fold them. Number two, the probability that the train is late, 0 0.15, write down the probability that the train is not late. So 1 minus, 1 minus 0 0.15, so 0 0.85. Number three, the stem and leaf diagram shows the number of hours that each of the 16 students studied last week. Now find the median the mood, the range. First, to find the median, we have 16 students, so this even number. So we have two at the middle. We need to find them, then add them, divide by two to find the median. Now, how to find the two middle values? If you have even number, so the order for the median, n over two, and n over two plus one. n, the number, of students so 16 over 2 which is 8 so the 8th value and the next one which is the 9th value so we need to find the 8th and the 9th then add them divide by 2 to find the median the 8th start from the first one 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so this is the 8th and this is the 9th so the 8th not 7 this 27 look for the key so this 7 means 27 and the next one, 29. So we need to add them, 27 plus 29, divide by two, equals 28. So the median, 28. The mood, to find the mood, the most repeated or the most common, look for the values, two, five, six, eight, zero, one, one, seven. So we have one repeated twice. So this means the mood, 21, 21. So the mood, 21. To find the range, the greatest value minus the smallest value. The greatest value, not 7, but 47. And the least value, 12. So 47 minus 12. So 47 minus 12 equals 35. Number 4, we need to find the value of A b and c for a a equals 59 because vertically opposite angle so angle a equals 40 59 degrees 59 degrees now to find b we have better lines so this angle b equals that one and this one equals 37 so from the shape, this is angle 37, and because, uh, because of alternate angles, so B equals 37, 
So angle B equal 37. Now we have A and we have B. We have A 59, B 37. Then we can find C 180 minus 59 plus 37, 84. Number five, work out six, the vector six negative five plus eight negative one. So add X displacement and Y displacement together. So six plus eight, 14. So 14, negative five plus negative one. So negative six. So 14, negative six. When you multiply any number by a vector, multiply the number by each, by X displacement and Y displacement by each number. So three times negative four, negative 12. 3 times 7, 21. Number 6. The nth term of the sequence is n squared plus 3n. Find the first three terms in the sequence. To find the first term, put n equal 1. Second term, put n equal 2. Third term, put n equal 3. So for the first term, 1 squared plus 3 times 1. So 1 plus 3, so 4. The second term, put n equal 2, so 2 squared plus 3, 3 times 2, 2 squared 4, 4 plus 6 equal 10. To find the third term, 3 squared plus 3 times 3, so 9 plus 9 equals 18. For B, find the nth term for this sequence, 25, 18, 11, 4, negative 3. So what is the rule? Subtract 7, minus 7, minus 7, minus 7. So the nth term, negative 7n, plus what? Just go one step to the back. So add 7, 4, 25, so 32. So negative 7n plus 32. This is the nth term. Or you can use the formula for this type of sequence if we add or subtract same number, which is a plus n minus 1 into d. a stands for the first term, and d for the common difference, the number you add or subtract every time. So A is 25 and D negative 7. If you substitute, you get the same answer, which is negative 7N plus 32. Number 7, solve the simultaneous equation. 2X plus Y equals 3. X minus 5Y equals 40. Look for the coefficient of X, 2 and 1. You can multiply the second equation by 2, then subtract. The coefficient of y, 1 and negative 5. You can multiply the first equation by 5 if you need to eliminate y. So you have a, cho a choice. You can eliminate x or eliminate y. So if we multiply by 5 to eliminate y, so the first equation will be 10x plus 5y equals 15. And the second equation, same. x minus 5y equals 40. Now, if you add, you eliminate y, so 10x plus 1x equals 11x, and negative 5y, positive 5y, cancel. 15 plus 40, 55, divide by 11, so x is 5. Now, you can substitute in any equation, the first equation, to find y, so 2 times 5, which is 10, plus y, equal 3, so y equals 3 minus 10, which is negative 7. So y equals negative 7. Number 8, without using calculator, work out 1 and 3 over 8 minus 5 over 6. You can convert this mixed number to fraction. Multiply and plus. 1 times 8, 8 plus 3, 11. So 11 over 8 minus 5 over 6. Now we can find the lowest common denominator for both, or you can multiply 8 by 6 and 11 by 6, multiply 6 by 8 and 5 by 8. So you have a choice. So if you find lowest common denominator, so what is the least number divisible by 8 and 6, which is 24? So convert 8 to 24. 8 multiply 3 and 11 multiply 3. Multiply 6 by 4 and multiply 5 as well by 4. Now you have 33 over 24, same denominator, minus 20 
over 24 13 over 24 number 9 a is the point 5 negative 5 b is the point 9 comma 3 find the coordinates of the midpoint we have rule for the midpoint x plus x over 2 so 5 plus 9 over 2 and y plus y over 2 so negative 5 plus 3 over 2 so 14 over 2 which is 7 negative 5 plus 3 which is negative 2 divided by 2 negative 1 d find the length of ab to find the length of ab we have the formula for the distance so x minus x 5 minus 9 squared plus y minus y so negative 5 minus 3 all squared then square root for the answer 8.942 three significant figure number 10 Describe fully the single transformation that maps A to B. From A to B, you can deduce that this rotation, rotation anticlockwise by 90. But we need to find the center of rotation. So this rotation, 90 anticlockwise. We need to find the center of rotation. To find the center of rotation, one point and its image, for example, this point and its image, if we consider this the center of rotation, from the center of rotation, how to reach this, this point? You need to move six units to the left and three units down. Now rotate that, then you have six units down and three units to the right. So it doesn't work. So the origin cannot be the center of rotation. Now you can try different point. For example, this point, we need to move seven and three. So if we move from this end, seven and three doesn't work. So can we can try this point, zero and one. We need to move six to the left and four down. So from this point, if you move six to the left and four down, doesn't work. So what about this point? This point to reach the, M, the point, if we consider this the center, we need to move six and two, six to the left and two. So if we move six to the left and two, we get the same point, the image. So this is the center of rotation. So zero and negative one. So the center of rotation, zero, negative one. And you can use tracing paper to find the center of rotation. Or you can use the triangle method. We explained that before. Double I, describe fully the single transformation that maps A to C. A to C. If the size changed, this means enlargement to find the scale factor divide the new side by the original one so one divided by three so this enlargement by scale factor one over three we need to find the center of enlargement to find the center of enlargement join this point and its image then extend the line join this point and its image then extend the line they will meet at the center of enlargement now the center of enlargement six and six b draw the image of triangle a after a translation by the vector 2 10 this means 2 to the right and 10 up we can find the image for this point by this translation move 2 to the right and then 10 up, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this is the image. Now you can draw by your own, because the same. So by your ruler, draw this side. Because this side, 6, so 6 down.
and three to the right. Then complete the triangle. So this is the image by translation two and 10. Number 11, simplify. 4a b power 5 all power 4. So to simplify, distribute the power. So 4 power 4 and a power 4 and b power 5 all power 4. 4 power 4, 256. a power 4, same. If you have 2 power, you have to multiply. So b power 5 times 4, so b power 20. So this is the simplest form. Now next, b. 2b power 1 over 3 equals 6. We need to find b. So you can divide by 2. Divide by 2. Divide by 2. So b power 1 over 3 equals 3. So to find b, cube both sides. Cube both sides. Power 3. Power 3. So b equals 3 and 1 over 3 equals 1. If you multiply them. 3 power 3 equals 27. So B equals 27. Now for C, we have 81, 3, 9. We can have the same base, 81 equals 3 power what? We can use calculator to find 3 power what? 3 power 4 and 9, 3 power 2. So 3 power 4, all power 2. Divide 3 bar t equals 3 bar 2. Because we have 2 bar, so multiply them. So 3 bar 8. Divide 3 bar t equals 3 bar 2. Now when we divide, subtract the power. So 3 bar 8 minus t equals 3 bar 2. So 8 minus t equals 2. t equals 8 minus 2 equals 6. Number 12, the profit of a company makes decreases exponentially at a rate 0.9% per year. In 2014, the profit was 9,500. Calculate the profit in 2019, so after five years. So this exponential decay is decreased yearly by 0.9%. So to find the value of the profit after five years, so the new value equals 9,500, the old value, into 1 minus, because decrease, 0.9 over 100, power 5, because after 5 years. Then the answer, 90, 80.13 to 2 decimal places. Number 13, on a map, a lake has an area of 32 centimeters square. The scale of the map is 1 to 24,000. Calculate the actual area of the lake. To use the map scale to find the area, you have to square the map scale because the map scale ratio between the map and real. Map and real. But I need the ratio between the, the area on the map to the area on the real. So you need to square the map scale. So after we square, this will be 1 square to 24,000 square. Now this is area to area, map area to real area. We have the map area 32. Now we can find the real area. But because the map area in centimeter square, the answer will be in centimeter square. Then later we can convert to kilometer square. So now cross multiply to find the actual area. So 32 times 24,000 square divide one square. The answer will be in centimeter square. So to convert to kilometer square, to convert from centimeter to kilometer, divide by 100,000. To convert from centimeter square to kilometer square, divide by 100,000 square. Now you can get the answer directly in kilometer square. So remember, to convert from centimeter square to kilometer square, divide by 100,000 square. 1.8432 Number 14 Why is directly proportional to the square root of x minus 3? x equals 28, y equals 20, 
find y when x equal 39. If y directly proportional to the square root of x minus 3, so y equals k into square root of x minus 3. To find k, put y equals 20 and x equal 28. So 28 minus 3 is a 25. 25 square root of 25, 5. So this means 5k is 20 divided by 5, so k is 4. So now y is 4 square root x minus 3. I need the value of y when x is 39. So 39 minus 3, so 4 times square root 36. So 4 times 26 equals 24. 15. Make h is the subject of the formula 2mh equal g into 1 minus h. So we need to put h in one side. Before that, we need to expand. So 2mh equals g times 1, which is g, minus g times h, which so gh. Now both transpose gh to the other side. So 2mh plus gh equals g. Take h common. You have 2m plus g equals g. Now h equal g over 2m plus g. Number 16, find the gradient of line L. You can find the gradient by two ways. Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. Or rise over run. So if we take consider two points, this is the first point, 0 and 2. The second point, 4, negative 1. So the gradient y minus y so 2 minus negative 1 over 0 minus 4 so 3 over negative 4 or negative 3 over 4 this is a gradient or you can use rise over run so make this triangle first so rise equal 3 and run equal 4 but because the line goes down so negative 3 over 4 so take care if you use rise over run. When the line goes down from left to right, so the gradient will be negative. When it goes up, gradient positive. Find the equation of the line L. We need to find the equation of the line L. We have M now, we need to find C. C, Y intercept is two. So the equation of the line, Y equals negative three over four X plus two. C, find the equation of the line that's perpendicular to L and pass through the point 12 and negative 7. The gradient of the perpendicular, the gradient of the line itself, negative 3 over 4. The gradient of line L. So the gradient of the perpendicular, 4 over 3, negative reciprocal. So the equation of the line, 4 over 3x plus C. This line passing through the point 12 and negative 7, now substitute. So negative 7 equals 4 over 3 into 12 plus C. So negative 7, 4, 12 divided by 3, 4, so 16 plus C. So C equals negative 7 minus 16, so negative 23. So the equation of the line 4 over 3x minus 23. 17. A bag contains three blue buttons and eight white buttons and five red buttons. Two buttons are picked at random from the bag without replacement. Work out the probability that the two buttons are either both red or both white. So, probability of both red, red and red. The total, three plus eight, 11 plus five, 16. We have three blue and 8 white and 5 red so probability red and red so 5 over 16 times 4 over 15 probability of both white and white number of white 8 so 8 over 16 for the second one 7 over 15 then or means add them so 
the answer will be 19 over 60 in the simplest form. Number 18, S is a point on PQ such that PS to SQ 4 to 5. So this 4 to 5. So we have 9 bars in all. So PS will be 4 over 9 and SQ will be 5 over 9 from BQ. And OS, we need to find OS in terms of A and B. OB is vector A, OQ is vector B. We need to find OS in terms of A and B. OS equals, we can find through B or through Q. So through B equal OB plus BS. OB plus BS, vector OB plus vector BS. OB equal vector A. BS equals 4 over 9 BQ. And BQ, to find BQ in terms of A and B, is negative A plus B. Negative A plus B. So, this will be A plus 4 over 9 into negative A plus B. Now, expand. So, A, 4 over 9 times negative A. So, negative 4 over 9A. 4 over 9 times B. So, 4 over 9B. Now, 1A, 1 minus 4 over 9. So, 5 over 9A. Plus 4, 5 over 9A. Plus 4 over 9B. Number 19, sketch the graph of y equal 10x from 0 to 360. The graph for 10, this is the graph for 10. This 90. And if this one 80. So this is the graph for 10. So now we can do that. We can draw the vertical lines will help to draw in a proper way. One at 90 and the other at 270. Now we draw. And from 180, one down and one up. Then from 360, one down. This is the sketch for y equal 10x. Now solve 5, 10, x is 1. So make 10x as a subject. So we have 10, x is 1 over 5. Now shift 10 and use Aztec rule. Now 10 is positive. So 10 is positive in the first quadrant, which is theta, and the third quadrant, which is 180 plus theta. So to find theta itself, use your calculator. 10 inverse 1 over 5. 11.3 so now the two solution 11.3 and 180 plus 11.3 which is 191.3 number 20 the distance between two towns is 600 kilometers correct to the nearest 10 kilometer a car takes 8 hours 40 minutes correct to the nearest 10 minutes to travel this distance calculates the lower bound for the average speed. So to find the speed, to find the average speed, we need to divide the distance by the time. If I need the average speed, the lower value for the average speed, I need the lower, so I take the distance lower and the time upper. To find the distance lower, the distance 600 to nearest 10, so then 10 divided by 2 is 5, now subtract because I need lower, so 600 minus 5, so 500, 595. Now to find the time upper, the time 8 hours 40 minutes to nearest 10, 10 divided by 2, 5, so you need to add because I need upper, so 8 and 45 minutes. 8 and 45 minutes, if we convert to our 
So this will be 8.75 hours. So divide by 8.75. Equal 68 kilometers per hour.